So it's a real privilege to open the night, and like Shay said, it's the first time I've spoken for about a year. And in that year, I've experienced an amazing amount of growth. Um, and you know, some people say it's brave, some people say it's stupid. Uh, you know, you can get all, all kinds of things when you go with your heart. But uh, essentially, I'm really fascinated by the process of taking the next big step outside your comfort zone. Because once you do that multiple times, of course, the first time you do it, it's a bit tricky. It takes a lot of willpower, it takes a lot of desire. Um, but once you start making that a habit, then you get something that I call, obviously, initially it becomes a quantum leap. When you do it multiple times, you get exponential growth. So, you know, I'm just really blessed to be on this, uh, this journey with someone I love. Uh, able to share it and of course 2015 is like what Shay just said is the year that I remember uh, that we created true and complete freedom and the way I define that is financial freedom mental freedom location freedom and time freedom and it's uh, you know to break from the corporate world to have that is a real privilege it's a responsibility um, but what I want to I don't really want to talk about my journey so much, I'm, I just want to share with you the process and I want to share with you the code behind it because I've, I've spent five years really deep in personal development, I've studied all kinds of things from psychology all the way to cosmology, scientific stuff, to uh, consciousness and really I believe what underpins all exponential growth when you get to the heart of it is consciousness. I believe it's our purpose in life to experience reality through higher and higher states of consciousness. And actually we live in a time now where you know, knowledge is so readily available that it's actually relatively easy to access that portal, that, that gap where you experience something profound. What's hard is to stay there. So uh, of course when you go through higher and higher states of consciousness, they say there's seven states of consciousness and one leads to another. And I think that we need to focus on consciousness, your awareness, because when you do that, what naturally happens is you change from the inside out. And you know, some of the biggest shifts that I've had have actually come from doing nothing, but I've changed, right? So um, when you go through different states of consciousness, you've just come back from Peru, right? So you've done this ayahuasca retreat, so you know what I'm talking about. Um, as you, as you go, kind of go through different states of consciousness, what happens is your biology changes, your programming changes, your sense perceptions change, how you think, how you feel. Your model of reality is different. And what I found was when I was working in the corporate world, I was just bashing through life experientially. And then I kind of noticed that there's two ways to achieve huge growth. There's the experiential, and then there's the intentional. And so the experiential is the external, is the actual experience of doing something. But then there's also the intentional, the inner work, doing it on the inside. And so for a long period when I was in the, in the, in the corporate world, I was just bashing through it. And actually I got, to, I got to a stage where it just didn't make sense anymore. What I was doing just didn't make sense uh, until I took a step back and then I started, well, I mean, when, when I go through my journey, the first three books I read in personal development were The Road Less Traveled, which kind of gave me a lot of assurance that, okay, I'm not weird. The second book was about the power of your subconscious mind, which made me understand the, the power of this tool between our ears. And then the third book was about transcendental meditation, which really helped me elevate beyond what my current circumstances were. And what I realized was, like I said, there were moments when I did nothing, literally nothing just sit in silence and be with stillness. And I did that for so long that I started to levitate. No, I'm joking. But <laughs> I did that for so long that um, the way I saw my circumstances changed. My circumstances didn't change. But the way I saw them changed. And actually, what I realized was I could live a nomadic lifestyle. And uh, and I, I mean that literally, nothing changed except I realized that I could change, I, I could tweak a few things, then I could start generating an income, and then I could save more money, and then I could be free. So uh, what I did was, instead of being, for example, instead of being taxed at 40%, I realized I'd be taxed at 15%, so I saved more money. Then I realized that with my property, I could remortgage it and pay less mortgage. And 
I didn't have to rent it for a year, I could rent it short term through Airbnb. So I started creating income, I started saving more money, and then within six months I kind of just changed the game. And like I said, it's, it was not like bashing through life, it was just, you know, just focusing on increasing and expanding. And so I went from experiential to intentional to experiential, because also when you go through intentional, you kind of get to this place where it's like, okay, I've got this expanded awareness, I, I, like, I believe that all of these things, but you still have, you get to a place where you want to create. You know, you're so excited that you want to keep going out into the world. So and then I, I was going from intentional to experiential, and then again, things didn't make sense, so I go back until, I would say last year, I kind of married the two, and both became one. And really, that's just a, a really powerful place to be in. Um, how, how powerful, how, how exponential is exponential? Because you know, what we kind of struggle in is our, our minds are hardwired to think in a linear process. So you have no problem if I ask you to take 30 linear steps, you calculate this, you know, between here to the end of the room. But if we're going to take 30 exponential steps, so if you're going to keep going outside your comfort zone 30 times, and I ask you to take 30 exponential steps. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. Where do you arrive after 30 steps? It's very hard to calculate, but it's 26 times around the world. You take a billion steps. So it's just about taking the scary step each and every single time. Now, I, I have this model I call the four C's. I really want to quickly share it with you. And underpinning all of these C's is, like I said, expanding your consciousness. You can do that through various ways. The one I really recommend is transcendental meditation. But essentially, if you want to make any quantum leap in your life, you have to have clarity. Clarity is a starting point. And actually, clarity is more simple than people think. Clarity is just about simplifying your life. Because we're bombarded with information, you know, we, for example, my father's time, life changed very slowly. You know, there was no difference between one decade and another decade, right? We live in a time now where the world's changing every six months. It's truly exponential. And so we're bombarded by information. It's very hard for people to, to access what is their values, even like, what, is, what are your values? So when I started out, it was about simplifying my life to three, four key ideas, three, four values. And like I said, clarity can come from taking a step back. But uh, essentially, clarity is not going to be a big shiny thing that, you know, you get this vision and that's it. That's not clarity. Clarity is, can sometimes be fuzzy, can sometimes be really small. Clarity whispers, it doesn't shout. So. First of all, you have to find your clarity. You can also get clarity by asking yourself some simple questions, some powerful questions. There's a lot of people who've been on the stage and they've said that their life changed when they found out who they were. So, you know, a good question to ask is, who are you? What, what are you like? What do you love? And not only who are you, but what are you? Where are you? And why are you? So, you know, this doesn't have to be a spiritual uh, inquiry. This can also be a scientific inquiry because the science behind it is actually just as beautiful as the spiritual. And, you know, Dalai Lama says that the quantum theory and the spiritual shake hands. They make sense. They agree with each other. So, who are you? These questions are really powerful. But essentially, if you don't want to go into that, just simplify your life because you don't realize London is a city, I mean, especially now that we experience it, living in Bali and Sevilla, these places are really calming. There's not so many distractions. And if you work for someone or if you're on Facebook constantly, people are imposing their vision of reality onto you subconsciously. So simplify your life. To become a leader, you have to simplify your life. The second C is you have to commit. And commitment's really important. So whatever your clarity is, you have to commit to it. You have to say, I believe in this. And you don't have to have clarity in all aspects of your life. You don't have to commit to everything. But you have to commit to something. Whether that's your health or your relationships or changing your financial situation, whatever it is, you have to commit to it. And if you don't commit to something, you're sending a signal out to the universe that you're not ready for it. 
So you have to commit. And a lot of people see that commitment is, what I struggled with, is that commitment is like a discipline. And discipline is hard, right? A lot of people think discipline is hard because we have this kind of association that discipline is taking something away, right? But actually what discipline is, is the receiving of everything. Because, let's say for example in health, if you have an undisciplined way with health or with food, for example, every time you walk past the bakery and you smell that, that's going to trigger you, right? That's going to trigger you. And then that'll start dominating your thoughts. So actually discipline is not the taking away of something. It's the, it's the clarity. It's the receiving of everything. It's the fact that you're not dominated or triggered by different things. So commitment's really important. The third C is consistency. You have to be your clarity consistently. And actually, when we're talking about exponential growth, a lot of it lives in the consistency. Because when you are consistent, two special forces start to work for you. And these forces are attractive. So the first one is confidence. You start to gain real, true, authentic confidence. A lot of people say that you can get confidence by you know, just doing the thing that you hate, and then you'll get confidence. That's, that's also true. But to get real confidence is to live your clarity consistently. And it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't have to be every part of your life. It just to be one part. One part of your, of your vision that you do consistently. That'll give you such a massive confidence that no one can take away from you. It's like inside. It's like your pact with yourself. And so it gives you confidence, which is alone game-changing. The second thing it gives you is momentum. Now, momentum is really what drives you from A to B to P to Z, okay? It helps you take quantum leaps. Momentum is an attractive force. So in the finance world, we say this is like the compound effects. This is where you take an account of 200 pounds to 2 million pounds. Momentum is, from a football perspective, is Leicester top of the Premier League right now. <laughs> Last year, they were bottom of the Premier League. They had a great, great clubs. They have momentum. That's what they have. And a lot of people ask, when am I going to get the momentum? I'm doing this consistency. When am I going to get momentum? That's the wrong question. But if you want to answer, just budget a year. Whatever you're doing, budget a year. And if it happens after three months or six months, fantastic. But start to look at things over a year. So momentum is really important. The final C is working as a conduit, as a channel. Now, again, like momentum, this is where you, your life can be completely unrecognizable one year to the next. This event was channeled. I didn't write down, okay, I want to create an event that 50 people come to want to speak. It wasn't like that. It was inspired. It was because I was open. It was because I was in a state of allowing. And if you work as a conduit, as a channel, you're in touch with a higher intelligence. And like I said, it, it's a process where you have to allow, where you have to let your ego move to one side. Because when you're a conduit, you actually start to realize that whatever goals you had, whatever you thought was going to be what you wanted, and what you thought was going to be a, a, a quantum leap, there is a higher intelligence that knows much better than you. And you know the magic of, of this, the magic of what we've created is because we've channeled. And actually channeling, this is one of my insights, is channeling is a two-way street. It's not uh, just a download of information. It can also be an upload of questions, big questions, questions that have really got you stuck. So when we created our business, I asked the question, I got the clarity, and then I asked the question, I want to create a trading strategy that sets up frequently that wins 70% of the time with minimum drawdown. And I didn't even know that could be created. I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. But I actually worked out the, what I'm trying to create first, and then I channeled it. I asked the question, and 24 hours later, I had the answer. And I couldn't have made it up by myself. I wasn't there intellectually to make that up myself. But I had it. And that's why channeling is huge. A lot of people are thinking linear, like I said. I mean, the way we've kind of evolved is to think A, B, C, D. 
Uh, if you're in a, if you're working for someone, is to go to the next step of that. But just create your own life, lead it from the inside out, and you know the question is, can you channel without having the three other C's? Can you go and be a conduit straight away without having the clarity or commitment and consistency? The answer is yes, you can. But I believe what gives you huge confidence is having the three other C's. So if you have uh, a magic idea. It just becomes an idea if you don't have the confidence to execute it, right? But it's not to say you can't. You can. There's, there's a lot of people who've created amazing growth just by channeling. So um, that's really what I wanted to share. It's about the four C's. Exponential growth is real. Um, take quantum leaps. Uh, it's not easy to take the next big step outside your comfort zone. Uh, you know, being around people who are, you know, uh, in, a, in, a, in a high state of being, in a kind of peer group like this really helps. When you have positive reinforcement, it really helps as well. Um, but essentially, yeah, I hope you enjoy the story and please apply. Thank you.